What's going on everybody? My name is Hydrus and welcome to another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire live Wi-Fi battle today versus a Nestor. We're going to be doing an NU match here and let's go ahead and go over the Pokemon really quick before we do our battle. We have Vivalon on our team who is Focus Sashed. We have our Pyro who is Choice Specs. Slick, the Cradily who is going to be our specially defensive wall. We have a Choice Scarf Haunter. Uh, we have Inhale. Me, who is our Weezing, who is specially, who is also physically defensive, and Twirl running the, I think, Assault Vest. Uh, I think it's Assault Vest. Let me actually look at this. Is this Assault Vest? Yes, it is the Assault Vest. Okay, we're running the Assault Vest with Modest Nature and anything like that. So let's go ahead and battle versus Nestor here. So hopefully it does go well for him. Good luck, Nestor, in the battle, and hopefully you have a fantastic time. If you guys are hyped for this battle right off the start, make sure you smash that like button for me, guys. As he has a... As he has a... Ivysaur Rotom, and my capture card goes out on me. Alright, so hopefully the capture card doesn't do that again. <laughs> Rotom, Glaceon, Granbull, Monferno, and... Uh, what is that? The Lipard. I kind of want to do it li go out into Haunter first, knowing that Lipard might come out for the fake out. So I'm going to go out into Haunter first because I do have the U-turn. And I can get the switch initiative here. So let's go ahead and confirm that team right there, guys. Hopefully the capture card doesn't go out. Uh, the capture card right that I have right now is go is kind of dying out of me. We, we do have a new one on the way, uh, thanks to you guys during my donation stream. So thank you guys so much for that. Uh, we will be... Uh, battling Nestor today, so uh, let's see how it goes. And Nestor's issuing that challenge, though. Sends out Cray the Rotom, the shiny Rotom, as we go out into our Haunter. All right, now what does this Rotom want to do? What does this Rotom want to do to me? I feel like I feel like Haunter could. Easily wreck this thing. I'm not sure though. Uh, I've never. I'm not sure. I've never seen. I've never. I'm. This is like my first battle in NU, so I'm really not sure how uh, well it goes. So Haunter versus Rotom. He could be defensive choice scarf. I'm gonna say the choice scarf. The NU choice scarf. Now can Haunter Haunter Shadow Ball. I'm not life or Let me try. Um, my scarf is it um, I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go for the shadow ball I'm gonna go for the shadow ball as it does take out the Rotom getting the first kill of the match okay 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 I had to do a bit of damage cost because I wasn't sure if Haunter could take that thing out now what does he want to go out into next I am choice scarfed into uh, the shadow ball so that's unfortunate whatever he wants to go out into he goes out into Reaper the Lipard, knowing that I... No, I couldn't... He's going to knock off anything. Going out and anything. I'm going to go out and inhale me because I can cripple this thing with a Will-O-Wisp at least. And so hopefully... I didn't take a picture of his team because my phone is like nowhere near me. So, unfortunately. But I am going to withdraw Haunter because I'm not looking forward to a knockoff. Um, hopefully I can... Just take a fake out. He's going to Thunder Wave my Weezing, which is perfectly fine. As my notification bumps up. All right, so let's see here. Let's see here. I can will o wisp, but I kind of want to protect. I'm gonna will o wisp whatever wants to come in here. <clears throat> He's gonna withdraw his Reaper. What's he gonna go out into? I don't know what the Mula. Oh, the Monferno. I'm gonna protect the Scout. What he wants to do. I am gonna just protect. I'm not sure what he wants to do with this thing. Just in case he wants to fake out. Fire Punch. Okay, well, I see the Fire Punch. I am just going to go for the Sludge Wave because that is a thing. <laughs> and he is faster. I mean, Weezing is already kind of slow anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, hopefully that he might be switching, taking his time. He does go for another Fire Punch. Can't burn me, and I'm going to eat that like yummy yumminess. <laughs> As I am going to get a Sludge Wave off, breaking through that Paralysis. Just hopefully maybe going to get a Poison. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a Poison. He could expect me to to protect here just to get Leftovers damage. I mean, uh, Black Sludge damage. Black Sludge recovery, I mean. But he's just going to try and windle this thing down bit by bit. And I'm not sure why. 
Weezing is good for his Ivysaur. Mula, I don't I'm not sure if he wants to preserve this thing or not. I'm not sure. I kinda wanna go for the Will-O-Wisp predicting the switch. I am just gonna sludge wave. I'm gonna sludge wave whatever you want. He's gonna slack off. I really need the poison on this then. I really need this to go through. I need the poison to go through. So can we get the poison? Can we get the poison at least? No, we can't. Alright, so he's gonna he's probably just gonna fire punch me again. He's probably just gonna slack off again. I'm just gonna go for another sludge wave. He's probably trying to windle down my sludge waves, which that's okay. Um I can just I can just uh fire a flamethrower. He's gonna withdraw. I'm gonna get us off a sludge wave on whatever wants to come in. His favorite. Is that his little Ivysaur? Why would he go on to Ivysaur? He doesn't know that I don't have the Now, I'm pretty sure I can live a hit from this thing. I'm pretty sure I can live a hit. I want to protect to see what he's going to go for, but I'm not going to. He's going to Leech Seed. And I'm going to get a free Flamethrower off. I'm going to get a free Flamethrower off. So that's perfectly fine. He doesn't have anything to recover with. He's going to get recovery from me, at least. I don't know what this thing wants to do. Can an Ivysaur one-shot? Can an Ivysaur one-shot? I don't think an Ivysaur can one-shot me. Mm. I don't think Ivysaur can one-shot me. I am just gonna Willow. He's gonna Sludge Bomb, which I'm gonna eat that up. I should eat that up. I mean, I'm a wheezing here. I am just gonna get the Willow Wisp off just to burn this thing. I don't care if he's specially offensive. I want the chip damage on this thing at least. So. Luckily, get the burn. I know he's going to get lefty's recovery, which is perfectly fine. I don't care. I do not care. So let's just see. Let's just see. The burn's going to counteract. I, I'm going to predict the switch here. I'm going to go out into... I'm just going to go out into Twirl. I'm going to go out into Twirl. This thing's Assault Vest. I can take any hit that he wants to dish out from this, from the, any Ivysaur, really. So let's see what he's going to do to me. I'm not sure what he wants to do at this point. He's going to Sludge Bomb anyway. I am a Soul Vested. I'm going to tank that pretty well. Now, a Psychic. I don't want to do a Psychic just for the fact that that little itty bitty... Uh, that I'm going to go for the Ice Beam. Uh, just because that uh, uh, Lipard is around. And there's the Lipard. I'm glad I went for the Ice Beam regardless. I knew that thing would come in. Which that thing is not going to be able to eat a hit. Now, I kind of want to go for the Dazzle Gleam, the Gleams of Dazzles, but, uh, as Shady would say, mm, but I'm not sure if I want to. I'm not sure if I'm faster than this thing. I don't think I'm faster than Lipard. I kind of want to switch out. I kind of want to switch out because I kind of want to preserve this thing, but I'm going to go out into Inhale Me. I'm just going to go out into Inhale Me. So I think a knockoff is coming, and I think just as long as Inhale Me can take the knockoff, it's fine. I don't mind losing him right now. He's going to go for Gunk Shot. Which, that's not going to do anything. Now, he's probably going to switch, which is fine. I'm just going to Sludge Wave. Stab, super, not super effective, but it will get off any damage that I need to get off of. Hopefully this liar... Hey, I, I feel like he's going to switch out. I'm not sure if he will. He f might think I'm going to Will-O-Wisp this thing and trying to go out into the Ivysaur. I should have predicted that to go for Flamethrower, but that's okay. He's going to go for the Sucker Punch, which that's going to do nothing because I'm a physically defensive Weezing. And that's going to take out his Lipard. That is going to take out his Lipard. All right. Get a little bit, get a little black snow recovery. What's he gonna go out into? I predict the Monferno because of that slack off. Ooh, Frosty, who's Frosty? Oh, the Glaceon. I'm gonna protect just the scout to see what he's wanting to do. I feel like this thing's a wish pasture. I've never ran, I've never played NU, so I really don't know the tier. I really don't know the stuff that uh, that Glaceon can do in this tier, so I really am not sure what's gonna go on. He's gonna go for the Ice Beam. I am just gonna protect. Uh, I feel like I can take anything this Glaceon wants to dish out, so I am just going to go 
and go right out back into my Toril, who can tank any uh, special hit with the Assault Vest. Because they, he, he, she took that, uh, she took that, um, what'd she take? She took something. She took a Sludge Bomb pretty well. I'll switch right out into Toril. The star of my team is actually Pyroar, and I have not actually been able to use him yet. So that's unfortunate so far. As he does just go for the Ice Beam with the Glaceon, I'm just going to get not... Oh my god, you got to be kidding me! He gets the freeze? He gets the freeze. I'm just going to go for a Stab Psychic. I don't care if this thing goes down. I need something to come out and take this hit. He gets the freeze. Which does not let me get the 6-0, though. I was hoping to get 6-0, but that's okay. Mesper can go down. I'm not worried about it. I kind of want to go out into this. I'm going out into this Pyroar now. I am going to go out into this Pyroar. Who will start to sweep this thing. This thing is super effective. Unnerved. He's not going to be able to eat no berries. You ain't going to be munching on no berries today. I'm just going to go for the stab, the, the stab Hyper Voice. This thing is normal fire type. So a Hyper Voice will do damage to whatever wants to come into this into this here. He's going to go out into Moolah. Which is going to be that Monferno. I'm not going for the fire type. I'm just going for the Hyper Voice. Which should take that Monferno out. So, this thing is gonna, this thing has choice specs. I don't know if, uh, if it can outspeed much. The Lipard uh, spoiled. Spoiled the Grand Bolt. It's okay, I'm not physical, so it really doesn't matter. Grand Bolt. Defensive. Any defensive, let me see here. Uh, Pyroar. A choice specs Fire Blast will take out the Granbull. So I'm just gonna go out into... I'm gonna go out into, a, into Weezing just to see what he wants to do. I'm not sure what he, what he wants to do. I know Granbull can be pretty good on attack here. <clears throat> so I'm not sure. He goes for the EQ and I have Levitate. Luckily, he's not gonna be able to take me out. So I'm just gonna get that off. I can Will-O-Wisp, but I'm not gonna Will-O-Wisp. I'm just gonna go for I'm gonna go for the Flamethrower, predicting he's gonna switch out into that Ivysaur because he thinks I might Will-O-Wisp him, which is fine. He's gonna withdraw. I feel I predict the Ivysaur. I predict it. I needed a drink there. Oh, he goes on the Glaceon, and the Flamethrower is the perfect move for that. That should that should do a decent amount of damage to that thing. It's a crit. It's a crit. Now, Ice Beam could take me out. I'm not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go for the Flamethrower. I'm going to go for the Flamethrower. <clears throat> because he is going to go for the Ice Beam. Now, this thing is probably Specs. Because that, 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 that will take out Weezing. I'm fine with Weezing going down now. I'm fine with him going down. Because. I kind of want to go on to Vivalon. I kind of want to go into Vivalon and get the Sleep Powder off. No, what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go into Vivalon. Let's go into the Vivalon. And... I predict the Ivysaur is going to come in, predicting the Sleep Powder. I'm just going to go for the Hurricane. I'm just going to go for the Hurricane. Because <laughs> Ivysaur is immune to the Sleep Powder being Grass type, so we'll see what he's gonna do. I, I think he's gonna switch onto the Ivysaur. I don't want to do anything with that Ivysaur around. So if he does go out into it, and I just pretty much wasted a turn. <clears throat> he's thinking long and hard. He's think he might think I might go for the I might go for the Sleep Powder. He might think I might not. We'll see what he's gonna. Let's see what he's thinking here. Let's see what he's thinking. I think a hurricane should be enough to take this thing out, regardless. <clears throat> so, he does withdraw Frosty. He does withdraw the Frosty, and hopefully we do get our hurricane off. And he is gonna go out into the Ivy Sword, which means, which means we are gonna get our hurricane off. Predicting that Ivy Sword to come in here, and that is gonna be enough to take out the little bitty Ivy Sword. Sorry, Nestor, and that's his mascot. I know, but sorry. I had to take it out, dude. I had to take it out. He goes out into Spoiled, which is the Grand Bull. And I am going to go ahead and go for the Sleep Powder now. He's going he's to get the Intimate, which is perfectly fine by that point. I really don't care. I am going to go ahead and just Sleep Powder this thing. 
to get this thing to sleep. He sleeps. I don't want... I am going to be that cheeky. I'm just using my tactic because I do want to get a Quiver Dance up because I don't think a Hurricane will, will kill. I don't think a Hurricane is going to kill. So... Let's see. I'm going to go for the Quiver Dance just to do it. So let's see. He wakes up first turn? Hello. That's gonna bring me down to Sash, which is fine. If he gets the if he gets the freeze again, I'm gonna be so salty. But he's not gonna get the freeze. I am gonna go for the hurricane yet again. I do outspeed, which is fine. Hurricane, I don't know if it'll be enough to take out this thing. It's not gonna be enough, which is fine. He's gonna get the ice punch off, taking out Vivalon. Again, perfectly fine. I'm fine with that. I did get a hurricane off, getting decent damage off on this little itty bitty thing. So, I am going to go out into the Pyroar. And I am just going to go for that Choice Specs Fire Blast. Actually, do I want to do Fire Blast? Hyper Voice. I don't want the chance to miss. I don't want the chance to miss. I am just going to go for the Hyper Voice. And that will take out Spoiled. Now he only has one Pokemon left. And hopefully Pyroar can pick up the KO. <clears throat> he goes out into Frosty. Now can Frosty take a hit? Now can Frosty take the hit? I should be faster. I'm not sure if I'm faster than Glaceon. Yep, I am faster. I'm Choice Specs Pyroar. Going to take out this little itty bitty Frosty. And that's game, Minester. <laughs> Thank you, Inestra, for the battle. GG, bro. Hopefully, you did enjoy this video, guys. If you are watching that, we get a nice 3-0 victory over Nestor. Hopefully, we'll do another battle sometime, Inestra. <clears throat> Excuse me, and my throat is, got, is dying on me. But, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did like it, please leave a like on the video, guys. Go check out Inestra's channel. His links are down below in the description, guys. So, make sure you go check out his channel. Follow him on Twitter and all that good stuff. But, I am going to get up out of here, guys. Thank you guys so much, for, so much for watching this Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle. And, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a fantastic day.